Leaf, previously a division of Cytex and later Kodak, is now a subsidiary of Phase One. Leaf manufactures high-end digital backs for medium format and large format cameras. In 1991, Leaf introduced the first medium format digital camera back, the Leaf DCB1, nicknamed the Brick, which had a resolution of 4 million pixels, 4 megapixels. As of 2012, Leaf produces the Credo line of digital camera backs, ranging from 40 to 80 megapixels. Until 2010, Leaf also produced photography workflow software Leaf Capture. Topic: <laughs> Products. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Digital camera backs. After Leaf's DCB, the digital backs evolved into two product lines, the Aptis and the now discontinued Valio. The main difference is that the Aptis models have a 3.5-inch touchscreen, where the Valios have no onboard display. The Valios can still be used untethered by using the DP67 software or the more recent WiVU software on a Compaq iPack. The iPacks are connected via Bluetooth with the digital backs. For untethered usage, you will need battery packs for both the Aptis and the Valio, otherwise the back must be powered via a Firewire connection to a computer. The Valio models need a Leaf digital magazine as well for untethered use, where the Aptis models have a compact flash slot. Current models Credo is the current generation of digital camera backs from Leaf, and the first Leaf back based on Phase 1 platform and not Leaf legacy platforms. Some of the changes are that the back no longer has a cooling fan, but instead makes use of passive cooling. Also to be noted is the new high-res capacitive touch screen which no longer requires stylus pen. The back also boots in one second with Phase 1 OS. Previous Windows CE operating system took up to 10 seconds to reboot. The differences between Credo and Aptis 2 Interface – Credo has both FW800 and USB 3 interfaces. Aptis 2 has only FW800 interface. Aptis uses a proprietary L-shaped FW connector, while Credo uses a straight regular connector. Thick head connectors will not fit into either backs. Credo uses standard USB 3 type B connector and standard cables may be used. Officially only 3-meter USB 3 cables are supported, but 5 and 7.5 meters were tested and worked with repeaters. FW cables in Credo and Aptis are supported up to 10 meters. Battery – Credo uses an internal battery, and Aptis uses an external battery. Credo can't operate without a charged battery inside it. When Aptis is tethered it can work only without battery, as the battery port and cable port are overlapping. The Credo battery is charged when using powered FW800, but not when using USB. It is possible to use low-powered Windows tablets to tether Credo, while Aptis generally requires tethering to a laptop which has a FW port that is powered from AC. Aptis can load a double capacity and size battery, which Credo can't, since the battery goes into a slot in the Credo body. Screen – Credo has a smaller screen but with more resolution. Credo has capacitive touch screen more sensitive like current smartphones, and Aptis has a resistive touch screen less sensitive, like older PDAs. Connection protocols – Credo is much faster to connect in tethering than Aptis, and establishes a more stable connection. Colors – Credo colors are more accurate and less punchy and unique than Aptis colors. 
Sensitivity – Credo is one-third stop more sensitive to light than Aptis, using the same ISO settings. Body compatibility – Aptis can work on all 645 Mamiya models from AFD and upwards. Credo requires 645DF and upwards, and can work with 645AFD3 only when version 1 of the firmware is installed on it. Interfacing to non-MAMIA 645 bodies, such as RZ67, HY6, Hasselblad H, V, Contacts, Tech Cameras is unchanged from Aptus. Long exposures, Credo can do much longer exposures than Aptus with acceptable noise. Noise, Credo has slightly less noise in high ISO than Aptus in normal length exposures. File format – Credo produces IIQ files same as Phase 1 backs. There are two types of files, large and small. Large has no compression and small has some compression and about half the size. The «large» files can be opened by Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom. IIQ files are not compatible with leaf capture. Live view – Credo has live view on the back screen, Aptus has live view only on tethered computer. Since both live views are CCD based, they are significantly inferior to live views on current CMOS sensors. All ports in the Credo body are covered. Weather sealed. Credo body is made of metal, Aptus has plastic, metal combination. Credo has a metal heatsink, while Aptus has a cooling fan, which makes some noise and can make the back freeze in icy winds. Aptus has a detachable LCD protector cover which Credo does not have. Turning on, off, tethered Aptus automatically turns on when the computer is turned on, and autocratically turns off when the computer is turned off. Credo must be turned on and off manually, and also turns off automatically after a period of idle time. Aptis 2 models are very similar to corresponding previous Aptis models, with the notable differences, live view available with Phase 1 645AF and 645DF bodies plus Mamiya AFD3 and DF, no dongle required. Live view is available on Capture One with large format bodies for Legacy Aptis 22 and up, live view dongle is no longer required. Camera controls aperture, shutter speed and shutter release on Phase 1 645AF and 645DF bodies plus Mamiya AFD3 and DF faster shooting speed, shot-to-shot -shot and faster transmission to tethered computer Firewire 800 connection replaces Firewire 400 slightly different color response The following table shows the models which Leaf still shows on their website as current models. Topic. Discontinued models Topic. Camera mounts The Aptis II models are equipped with a specific mount to fit one of the following camera systems. It is impossible to convert the mount of a digital back for a different medium format body via adapter or conversion plates, because the sensor would then not sit within the film plane since the sensor needs to sit the same distance from the lens that the film would. Such conversion may be possible by sending the back to leaf to be physically reconfigured, depending on the specific model. Any mount can be used on view cameras by using the correct adapter plate, for example, Alpha, Arca, Cambo, Horseman, Kata, Linhoff, Sinar, Toyo, Roli x 2, and other via Leaf Graflock or third-party adapters. This is because view cameras have an adjustable focal plane. The AFI backs in the discontinued models are specifically designed to work with CNR and Roli systems. Topic: 
Topic: Accessories. Topic: Leaf Digital Magazine. The Leaf Digital Magazine, or LDM, is a portable, small firewire-powered hard drive that enables a digital back lacking a compact flash slot to be used untethered. There are three models, the 5GB, 10GB and 20GB. It can be mounted in the U-bracket, which can also contain two smaller than normal batteries. This U-bracket can then be mounted underneath the camera. There are short firewire cables available to connect the LDM to the Leaf digital back. Topic: Software. Topic: Capture One, Capture One Pro. Capture One is a tethering software, raw image format converter and workflow software which enables photographers to deliver ready-to-use images with adjusted color and detail. It is designed to create very high image quality and provides a series of tools created to match the professional photographer's daily workflow. Capture One replaced Leaf Capture as tethering and processing software for all Leaf Aptus and Aptus 2 backs. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Leaf Capture. Image capture workflow software available for Apple Inc., OS X and Microsoft Windows. Leaf Capture is no longer developed, and is replaced by Capture One for all Aptus and Aptus 2 models. Image Comparison Camera Control of non-manual cameras Loop Tool, Focus Preview Real-time Live View Display Grid and Layout Overlay Color Temperature and Tint Sliders Adjustable histogram, Moiré removal toolnote from V11.2.9 on only supports Aptus models. Topic: <laughs> Leaf Capture Remote App Server. Used together, allows browsing of your shots. Folder on wireless devices iPad, iPod Touch and iPhone. The app works via the device's wireless local area network connection with Leaf Capture Server running on a host computer. Topic. Leaf WiView Leaf WiView is an update of the DP67 software. It is an application that enables you to have wireless control via Bluetooth over your Leaf imaging module to view and edit images on an HP iPad Pocket PC as you shoot. Before you begin working with Leaf with you you must install the corresponding application on the iPad Pocket PC. Follow the procedure for your operating system. Known supported IPAC models, HX2100, HX2400, HX2700, HX4700, RX5900, 110, 210. It is important that the IPAC has either 240 by 320 or 480 by 640 screen resolution, otherwise a part of the screen will be digitally masked off unsupported models. Known supported LEAF models, Valio 17Y, Valio 22Y. Leaf DP67 The Leaf DP67 application on an HP iPad allows wireless remote communication with the Leaf Valio digital camera back via Bluetooth.
The advantages of large storage space for your images and full control over the capture process are maintained by the Leaf Digital Magazine and Leaf DP67 display and control devices.